Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I have a pretty big haul for you guys. You know this is some of my favorite content to film. I had a bunch of points at Ulta and I had a coupon and they had stuff on sale. So you already know your girl racked up. I have two boxes this size. And then I also picked up some stuff from the drugstore. So I feel like this is a good mixture of affordable and high-end stuff. So I got something in here for everybody. Before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button if you love makeup, because that is my jam. This is the channel. If you love hair, if you love nails, everything related to beauty with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in, I got you. Join the family and let's get into this video. All right, so we're gonna start off with the stuff right here in front of me that is not in a box. This is Walmart CVS. So not too much, most of the stuff is from Ulta. First thing I picked up, y'all know how I am when I find something I like, I'm picking up backups because if it's new and I haven't seen it, I need all of them. I love press on nails. If you're new to my channel, go back and watch some other hauls, you will see. I have done some pretty crazy damage ordering nails, but I work out four, three to four days a week and my nails go through it. If I'm in the gym and I'm having trouble pulling my knee sleeves on or adjusting my equipment, I'll pop these nails off quick, come home and pop on another set. So I like to have backups, especially if I can find them on sale. This set is by the brand Kiss. This is their Impress Press On Manicure in the short length. I have so many boxes of this brand, but this is the first time I have ever seen these. Blue is one of my favorite colors to wear. My car is blue. I just think it looks good on me. It's kind of like a bossy color to me, like red, but I don't know. But I just thought these are really cute. They kind of have like a, I don't know if it's like a ocean or galaxy kind of mermaidy vibe, what's going on, but it's blue, dark blue, teal. It has some little, rhinestone effect kind of situations happening right here but i just thought they were so pretty and i had not seen them before so i decided to pick these up while i was in the store i'm trying to make sure y'all can see all of it but it's basically like a i cannot think like a french tip <laughs> i cannot yeah anyway but it's colored and it's very i don't know like it just looks very different from something you could do by hand. I love stuff like that, that looks like it's kind of airbrush design, very creative. So I picked up all the boxes that they had in the store of that one. The next one I picked up, this is a little different for me. This is in the medium length and it's the coffin style. It's different because of the color. These are black and white with silver. I don't normally do this kind of design, but you know, try something new. They were on sale. And I like this shape. I actually like this more than the square ones I have on square ones now. These are also Kiss, the Impress Press-Ons. But I just thought this was cute and maybe more of like a, I got about a week, week and a half I can wear versus I'm gonna pop off the other ones real quick. So just something new that I decided to try. But if you like longer nails, I think this set is really pretty and I love the abstract art of it. We have some more. I also picked up both of the pairs that they had, both of the sets that they had. This is new to me. This is the Impress Premiums. So these are in the medium length, same thing. These are like this gorgeous silvery gray kind of shade. And they have, one just looks like a light gray, then one at the top is like a kind of glitter. What's that thing that they're doing now with the, the glaze kind of look? And then you have some designs at the bottom with the rhinestones. Those are pretty big rhinestones. I don't normally wear those, but I just thought this was so pretty. And I have not seen these in the press-ons before, so you know I had to grab them. While I was in Walmart, I always pass by Profusion stuff to see if they have anything new. I loved their, I forgot the name of it, but it was a foundation they came out with. They didn't have a lot of shades, but it was like a, supposed to be lightweight kind of skin tint kind of situation. I was able to find my shade. I thought it provided really good coverage. 
And so every now and then I'll go check. I like their palettes, but I don't have a lot of them. And for some reason, this one was just screaming at me. Actually, y'all can probably tell me the reason when you look at it right over here. I mean, what are we talking about? Greens, blues, and neutrals like this. Oh, I didn't even realize this thing did not have a um tape on it. But anyway, I like that this also comes with a brush, but look at these shades. This is so pretty, and I've heard really good reviews of this brand. I have another palette. It's the Meadow palette, I believe, and I reach for it a couple times, but I didn't really like that it didn't have a good transition shade. I can already see that this one does. So it's starting off better, but these greens over here just got me. I don't know what this little thing is. I'm gonna swatch it just cause I'm curious. It is very soft. That's pretty. Ooh, okay, that's very pretty. Hmm, wasn't expecting that. Since we're swatching, I'm gonna swatch this kind of limeish green. Ooh. That looks almost gold. I gotta check a matte. Let's check wild. No, let's do wonderless. That kind of teal. Oh my goodness. Is this what we're doing in the drugstore now? Have I been sleeping? <gasps> Look at, hold on profusion. Okay. Floored. Um, let's see what this yellow looks like. Cause I know sometimes that's a hard shade to get to pick up, but. She's a little powdery, but I'm kind of shook, like kind of speechless. Got a little fallout, but that's nothing new. I get that with my high-end ones too. Let's see, it looks like the darkest shade in here is gonna be Voyage, so let's try that one. And I also want to see what Fearless looks like, which is that deep purple. And those are the two deepest shades in the palette there. I'm running out of room. This wasn't supposed to be a swatch video. Oh yeah, that's dark. These mattes are not playing. Okay, I am so glad I picked this up and I think I need to do a drugstore, get ready with me, and this will be included because swatches are one thing, but I need to see how it performs on the eyes. I also picked up from Profusion their Lip Vinyl Hydrating Liquid Lipstick. Now this is new. I don't know that I've heard of a hydrating liquid lipstick. All liquid lipsticks dry out your lips. That's how they, well, if they're supposed to have any kind of staying powder, that's usually what happens. So I was pretty curious about this one. It says shake well before use. I picked mine up in the shade Delicate. So of course I picked up a neutral. And hopefully it's a brown-ish neutral and not too pink. It looks pink. Damn it. <laughs> I tell y'all when I have, when I tell you I have a just color theme that I stick with, it might actually match this shirt. I might put some of this on. Let's see what she looks like. Yep, she's pink. Uh, I can't even sit this up down the way it's. Oh, that's very pink. Oh, Lord. I don't know if y'all can even see that. Hold on. That is so pink. That is not what I was expecting. Although I don't know why, because it looks exactly like the freaking component. Oh, Barbara. Well, we're gonna put some on because I think it's gonna go with this look. Before I do, y'all ask me about my lip colors. Let me tell y'all. This is the Natasha Denona. Hold on, let me put this down. This component is weird because it's on the side like that, so you can't sit it down when you open it. Um, this is the I Need a New Lip Crayon in NB 4.5 Luna. That is what I have on the outside of my lips. I do not have a gloss on. I am only wearing a lipstick, and it is this Ace Beauté Perfect Pout Lipstick in the shade Sincere. I showed y'all this in a haul, and I've just been holding on to it to wear it, and I was like, you know what? Go ahead and put that on because... This look kind of came together and I was not expecting it to be this much of a vibe, but it's just giving me very neutral pink. Like, is this about to be a new color story I start gravitating towards? That's what that looks like right there. That's not as pink as the gloss. So I think it's just a very gorgeous everyday neutral shade and it feels very comfortable on the lips. So if you have not tried, what is happening that I can't put this back on here? 
Um, if you have not tried this formula, I strongly suggest you do because I've had this on, I've been drinking water and it's staying. It still looks a little glossy, still feels very comfortable, so love it. But I'm gonna put this on top of it because I wanna see what it looks like. Yeah, she's pink. That's pretty though. I wonder if it's almost like a gloss. We're gonna see how this dries down because when I put it on my hand, it does look like it's sheer and it's kind of patchy. I don't know if you probably can't see that, but like right in the middle, it's like, I don't know. I feel like this is more maybe like a gloss stain kind of situation than it is a liquid lipstick, but Y'all know this is a very affordable brand, so I think it will definitely be worth it if it does what it says. I can't tell you today because I already had something else on, but I'll try to remember to put a comment to let you know how it wears when I wear it by itself. The next stuff is all from CVS. So this is another friggin' pink. I swear my eyes play tricks on me when I'm in the store. This is the Flower Beauty Bitten Lip Stain in the shade Play. So this is what it looks like, and I love that it has the little cut out where you can see the color which apparently doesn't matter to me because Barbara sees nude kind of beige shades even though they are clearly pink oh well that looks nothing like I thought so we're struggling let's put her right here I'm wondering though, because this is a stain, is it gonna kind of be like the, that's darker than I thought it was gonna be. If it's gonna kind of be like the um, Rare Beauty, Selena Gomez's brand, um, the Rare Beauty lip oils that are not an oil. I'm wondering if it's gonna kind of be like that. I actually like that shade a lot. It's darker than what I thought, but it's given that kind of brownish terracotta, rusty, mauve situation and that's one of my favorite colors so I'm not mad about it anymore another lip product and I feel like it's gonna look exactly like what I just swatched this is I I got this one because I couldn't remember the other shade I had already if I had it this is the Maybelline Superstay vinyl ink what is this called liquid lipstick there's that's good enough <laughs> this is in the shade punchy so it looks a little dark but oh god it's not thank you okay let me swatch on the other side this is what she looks like right here oh now see is that pink that still looks pink i don't know i put it on my skin and i feel like it looks more brown and maybe that's just my beautiful melanin helping to make it look like what i envision in my eyes but that is it right there so that's sincere what I have on my lips before I added the other and then that's it. So a little bit darker, but I think that's a gorgeous shade. Another lip product, I picked up the Flower Beauty Perfect Pot, Perfect Pout Sculpting Lip Liner. I think, I'm hoping that this is going to be like the perfect nude for me, although now it's looking a little red. Let's see. Yeah, she's looking a little red. Sigh. Um, this was the one that was the most neutral, I thought, but it's giving berry, kinda. So, I think I'll still go with what I bought. Maybe not, actually, that looks darker. I bought this to put in my purse to wear with gloss instead of a brown but I'll have to, let me see. You can't really see it. No, you can't really see it. That's all right. I will have this in my drugstore video as well for you guys to be able to see. Another nail product, I picked up this Nail Tech for Weak Damage Nail Strengthener. I got this for my toenails. I like to do pedicures myself. I do not like going to the salon my feet are ticklish I don't want anybody playing with my feet that's just my thing and I've been wearing the kiss impress press on toenails y'all I did not expect those things to last as long as they did they literally stayed on if it wasn't three weeks minimum two weeks on vacation through my workouts everything and it's just the little glue tabs on the back 
But when I took them off, I did notice that like a top layer of my nail had come off with it in a couple spots. So I was like, I don't know if it did that because like, why would it be any different than my regular nails, you know? And so I don't know if it's just because my toenails are weaker than my real nails, but this is to use when I'm not wearing press-ons just to help strengthen my nails to make them stronger and prepare them for the acrylics. Last but not least for this part of the haul, <laughs> I picked up a new shade. I've never seen this shade before. Elf Camo Concealer. This is the hydrating one. This is one of my favorite concealers of all time. Anybody ask me for a concealer, this is what I tell them. This is in the shade Rich Chocolate. The deepest I've seen is either Deep Cinnamon. I believe that's the deepest one. Um, and I was looking for a shade that I could use, although right now I think I'm too light. Oh, maybe not. That I could, yeah, maybe so. That I could use just to like spot treat whenever I don't want to wear a full face of makeup. This is definitely too dark. Oh yeah, it's too dark um too dark for under my eyes that's not that is such a gorgeous chocolate shade oh my god elf i honestly i know that's dark that's dark but i feel like if i just wanted to no barbara that's dark it's not a quite a contour i'm gonna find something to use that is a gorgeous shade and i was just happy to see a darker shade of it but the idea behind picking it up was to be able to wear it just to cover dark spots that I need to cover, blend out lightly just for a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of coverage. I've been trying to wear less and less makeup and sometimes even going without it. But you know, sometimes you just want to look a little more put together without doing the whole routine. So that's why I picked that up, but she's a little too dark, but I'm gonna find some use for her. Up next, I picked up some stuff from Danessa Myricks. She had a 25% off sale. I don't think I ever clicked that fast in my life. One of my friends, her name is Jamila, and she does have a YouTube channel. She is always telling me about stuff, always recommending stuff. I'm always buying stuff because she suggests it. She told me that the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder had some more shades. I've been using number nine as a foundation. Absolutely love it. But since I lost my tan, it's too dark. So I decided to pick up shade eight and a half. I should have brought nine to compare, but it is upstairs in my vanity. I'm not going to get it. <laughs> but this one, I have it on today. I did mix in a little bit of foundation with it. I do feel like it's a tiny, tiny bit too light just a little bit for what I like for my foundation. Y'all know I like my foundation a little dark, but if I needed something just to like spot, throw on and go, I think this would be great. I love the formula of this. I think it is the perfect, just want to put something on for some very light coverage. It's so creamy, but I swear it actually has great coverage. It just blends in, where'd it go? It just blends into the skin and then it helps to control oil, keep you matte, all that great stuff without looking super cakey. You can wear it as a foundation. You can wear it as a primer, whatever you want. So I have this now in three shades and I love it. Next, I picked up another one of her Blurring Balm Powder Flushed. This is her blushes. I picked up the shade Jubilee. I was gonna get this during the sale, the Sephora sale, and I told myself, no, I needed to get one shade, and that was it. I think I got Golden Hour. Absolutely loved it. Was super mad I didn't get more, and now I'm glad I waited because I got an extra 5% off. I knew I wanted this shade, but when I went in the store and swatched it, I felt like, eh, it doesn't really do a lot. Not a lot of coverage. This is what I have on today, and I feel like this would be the perfect Again, if I'm not one to wear too much makeup and go through the whole, let's put some on, through the whole process of like put on a lot of makeup, I just feel like this gives such a pretty flush and it's a pink instead of my normal terracotta kind of brown. Oh, that's so pretty shade and I just, yeah. I feel like a Barbie today, y'all. I'm not even lying. Like, I'm so happy with how my makeup turned out. This hair is giving. I just feel like I don't have nowhere to go. <laughs> I done already took my pictures, and I'm going to just be sitting in the house with a wig on until bedtime because I have 
nowhere to go. But anyway, I love this shade, love the formula. And so I'm glad now I have a punchier, brighter shade. And then I also have this more neutral one that I can wear every day. I also decided to pick up her Evolution Powder. I've never tried any of her powders and I decided to get the yellow shade. I did not want a translucent, but I also didn't want something that was too gold. This says you can use it as a primer. It's a priming, smoothing, and setting powder. I didn't think about using this as a primer. It says microfine, very. Like I put it on with a brush and I tapped it under my eyes, but then like as I was swirling around, powder was just going everywhere. So it seeped into my brush and then just kept going in the air. Like I set my chin, my under eyes, and my forehead with it. It says developed and tested with 8K TV and film and flash photography in mind. It says it helps to minimize the appearance of texture and fine lines with skin blurring technology and light diffusion, absorbs oil, sets your makeup and reduces shine. I used my brush, but then I also took my puff and pressed it in in this area here. So I like it, but when I tell you very finely milled, very finely milled and y'all probably cannot see the color but she is yellow not golden like just a really light pale yellow so i actually like that i never love the components that have this mesh in it but whatever i'll get over it so far i think i'm liking it i will say it does not give a lot of coverage i was worried because i have on my natasha denona high glam concealer and when I put the powder over it, it was almost like it dimmed down how light my concealer was instead of brightening. So if you want something brighter, keep that in mind, but this is not gonna give you coverage or anything like that. It's pretty much just to set. Next up, I picked up something new to me from the brand. This is her Infinite Chrome Micro Pencil. I got mine in the shade Infinite and I picked this shade because purple is, purple is my all time favorite color. I feel like, I think this is supposed to be like a purple to a green. This is so pretty. Like the component has the shades of it. I think all of them are like that, but you probably won't even, I'm so scared I'm gonna break this. Oh, so this one goes, yeah, I thought it went blue. I feel like this is going like purple to green and you probably won't even be able to see it. Mm, a little bit. Definitely purple and then it goes like a greenish kind of blue. We're not putting this on right now, but I've never tried one of these. And again, like I said, with the sale, I always feel like that's the perfect time to try something if you're interested in it. Last thing I picked up from Danessa Myricks, I picked up one of her brushes. This is the Yummy Face Brush for All Over Complexion Brush. This says it was used, you can use it all over your face for a one and done application. So I picked this up because I plan to use it for either the blushes or the, probably the blushes. Oh Lord, this, it has like a, okay, there we go. I love the color of this though. It's like a bronze. It kind of has that angled shape to it, like my favorite Morphe, whatever face brush that is for foundation. And I have another brush, my Rose and Ben brush that also has the same shape. So I think this is really good for blush application, which is why I picked it up. So now we are moving into the products that I got from Ulta. We're gonna start with this box over here. This one is not as full as the other one. They had a lot of stuff on sale and y'all already know me. If it's on sale and I've looked at it, I'm curious, whatever. I feel like I need to add something else as if I need. <laughs> and I need to add something else to the collection. That is the perfect time to do it. So as I'm packing right now, I'm also noticing that I just feel like my drugstore collection is not really... It's not enough. Like I wanna do more affordable videos. I love my high-end makeup. I'm always gonna love it, but I wanna have more affordable products to be able to show you guys and review. So I'm gonna need a sale cause your girl ain't got it like that to just be going out and buying stuff whenever. But that's, that's part of this haul. Anyway, so 
first product is this L'Oreal Age Perfect Creamy Powder Foundation. They got me with the creamy part because I was like, I wonder if this is going to be like blurring. Like, is it going to go on like a cream to powder kind of situation? I picked mine up in the shade 360 Sienna. And this is what it looks like. This looks dark. I have so much trouble picking powder foundation. Worse than I have with my liquid foundations. Oh, we're not going to put this on right now. Oh, let me see. I'm going to put it on my forehead because I feel like if it's dark, at least it can go with my bronzer up here. I don't know if that really did anything. I don't know. I don't want to mess up my face, but I wonder why they call it creamy. I don't know. I might be able to wear it by itself. It looks dark, but I don't know. If y'all have tried this, comment and let me know. This is new to me. Have not tried it. I love the L'Oreal line. Mo I have so much of their stuff. I have their new blushes. I have the bronzer. I have the infallible foundation, concealer. I have lip products. It's one of my favorite drugstore brands. So I just felt like they have this age perfect line that I feel like I'm over 40, you know, time to consider the fine lines and wrinkles. And so I just wanted to see how this was going to help blur and smooth everything out. This was also on sale. Ulta had it a little bit cheaper than Sephora. I swear, it's like they watch each other's pa sales pages or whatever's going on and try to copy. But I feel like Ulta kind of always takes the cake because of their reward system. This is the Lancome UV Expert Aqua Gel Defense 50 Plus Sunscreen. This is an SPF 50 Primer and Moisturizer. I was curious about this one because it says it's a gel. And it also says it is sense it is suitable for sensitive skin. So I need to see because this is going to come upstairs with me. I've been trying to get better about using my sunscreen. So it does still come out white. I thought it would be clear. And this looks like it's going to give a white cast. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Okay, no, no white cast does give you a little shine. I feel like anytime you wear a sunscreen, it helps to give you a little glow, which is not necessarily a bad thing. My favorite right now, I've been using the Fenty Hydrovisor, I believe is the name of it. I love that one. Gives me a little glow. Did I have that? I did have that on today. Um, gives me a little glow, but it doesn't leave that blue, gray, whatever white cast to it. So looks like this one's going to be good for that as well. It has been a long time since I bought a high-end skincare product, but I went through a whole bottle of this and then I realized I missed it and I was so glad to see it on sale. This is the Sunday Riley Autocorrect, where is it? Brightening and Depuffing Eye Contour Cream. This works so good and I feel like you get a lot of product in it. This lasted me forever. It has caffeine in it and I feel like anytime an eye cream has caffeine for me, it helps to depuff under my eyes. I know it's also supposed to help brighten too, which I feel like maybe it works, maybe not. I don't know, but it says it instantly delivers a brighter, lifted, depuffed look while reducing the appearance of dark circles. So that is why I got it. And it's expensive, but like I said, I was able to pick it up on sale. So it was kind of a no brainer for me. I picked up a foundation and I picked this up mainly because because <laughs> because it was on sale this is the lancome tint idol ultra wear care and glow i used to have i probably still have it but i honestly think i need to declutter it i've had it for years and i feel like the shade doesn't match anymore um but i remember being in love with their ultra wear foundation and this one is supposed to be a healthy glow skincare foundation and it has spf 27 so this one is in the shade 445N. And when I saw the, mm, this is dark. When I saw the, um, I'm gonna put it on over this primer, over the sunscreen. When I saw it online, oh no, that's gonna be pretty. Very liquidy though. You can see it's already starting to run. But when I saw the model, online with this shade i already knew i was like that is the shade that i gravitate towards so i'm gonna need that immediately and that is what she looks like it looks a little orange but i feel like 
when shades like this dry down, it is like my perfect, mm -hmm, that is what I love in a foundation. That exact shade right there. I don't even know if you can see it, but yeah. So I cannot wait to wear this. She is also going to come upstairs, but I will show it on screen. Have y'all tried this before? Because I don't even remember hearing about it come out and then it was on sale. So I don't know if that's a good thing, a bad thing. If it's supposed to be ultra wear, does that mean it's going to be long wearing, even though it is supposed to be glowy and all that? Because a lot of times, oh, excuse me, a lot of times for a foundation to be long wearing, usually it has to be matte. So we'll see because I'm very intrigued and I love this shade. Next, I picked up two sets of lashes. Don't ask me why, y'all. Just don't. It doesn't even matter. This is the Juvia's Place. Nubian Lash. I picked up Nefertiti and Cleopatra. These, okay, so Cleopatra is a little scarier than what she looked online, but Nefertiti looks wearable. First of all, I love the packaging. I think this is so cute. This right here is Cleopatra. This is Nefertiti. Nefertiti looks like I could put her on. Cleopatra looks like she's going to give me the blues because she is so long and fluffy uh actually more wispy than fluffy but she's long very long and then yeah this is more my style so she looks thick though i hope these are easy to put on because i just feel like i'm getting better i'm telling y'all ever since i found that lily lashes pin line and go that has been a lifesaver for me so Used it today, no issues with my lashes. Hopefully it'll be the same for those. I also picked up two concealers and I said I'm bringing one of them back. I wasn't sure which shade to get and they both look like they're darker than I thought they were gonna be. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Concealer. I picked these up because it said that they do not crease but they are also not drying and perfect for if you have under eye lines. One is in the shade, where are the shades on here? They don't have the shades on here? Okay, my bad, the shades are on the top. So I got 265 Cappuccino and 260 Almond. So let's see, I'm gonna put these on the other side. This is the 265 Cappuccino. Whatever I put right here is definitely a stain because it did not come off. So this is the Cappuccino. I suck at swatching them with this hand which I don't feel like would be light enough to go under my eyes unless I used a brightening powder. And then this is 260, which actually looks darker. Definitely two very different shades. I hope y'all can see. This is 260, this is 265. So this one looks a little, a lot more cool toned, almost like a corrector shade. And then this looks like I could wear this on my face. So I'm gonna try these out, but I feel like I should bring one back. I just didn't know which shade to go with. And now both of them, I don't know. I need to try these soon because I'm gonna bring them back if I decide I'm not wearing them. I'm not keeping stuff. I'm not gonna wear, not doing that anymore. This was a free gift. This is the Sunday Riley CEO 15% vitamin C serum. I've used this before and I like it. And then they also sent me this L'Oreal Paris. I think this is AirPods case or something like that, which I don't have. So probably put these for a giveaway or something cause I'm not gonna use that. All right, now let's get into the big box. Got some hair products. Okay, this is the Kristen S. Weightless Shine Working Serum. It is a cuticle smoothing, frizz taming, moisture locking, and strand illuminating serum. So I feel like this is going to kind of give sleek and shine vibes, maybe a little bit. How to use pea size amount, rub it together, towel dry hair, blow dry, or air dry as desired for additional shine and separation add another drop or two once the hair mm, smells good it ain't gonna do anything to this once your hair is dry so i'm gonna try this out i bought this for my hair i did not buy this for my wigs but i bought it because i'm looking for something to help give a little shine without weighing it down 
another hair product we have the professional sebastian no breaker hybrid bonding and styling spray this is supposed to help give stronger hair and more body up to 99 percent less hair breakage really 99 percent shake before spray so you use this on damp hair blow dry as usual use once a week so i feel like this is kind of because it said bonding i'm thinking that it may be along the lines of like my olaplex but maybe a little less expensive what is this oh well, why it came broken like everything just came out the box like this i'm surprised it has this nozzle though are you supposed to spray it on your scalp spray evenly on damp hair from roots to ends okay i don't know but this is what it looks like it has a little nozzle that you can use to normally spray directly on your scalp but it says from roots to ends so we will see 99 percent less breakage we'll see about that next i picked up another pair of lashes these are one of my favorite pairs of lashes these are ones when i first got into lashes that i felt were big and now i'm like Shh, i could wear these every day these are the Ardell Remy Lashes in the style 782. I just love how wispy these are. They're pretty full, but they're not crazy. <laughs> they're not like that. You can see the difference there, so yeah. I picked up an eyeshadow palette and I've been having this sitting and I need to film with it because I was too excited to get it. I got the ABH Cosmos palette. I wasn't going to pick it up because I heard a lot of people talking about, oh, it's a lot of toppers and all this stuff. I was going to order it from their website, but I kept hearing, or Ulta, and I kept hearing that everybody's palettes was coming in broken. So I waited and went to the store and got mine. I did not want my stuff broken. This is so pretty. I took a picture. I have not swatched it or anything. I just took a picture of it to send to a friend of mine. But y'all, these shades, everybody was complaining about the row of neutrals. This is perfect. Like I could travel with this and have my everyday neutrals that I can use for my normal looks and then have these gorgeous shades to be able to amp it up. So I'm not mad at the neutrals and I feel like you can put those with anything and they will, any of these shades in here and it'll look good. So I don't know, unless you're trying to do like some kind of editorial look where you want it to be like, I don't know what but i personally for how i like to do my makeup i think this is perfect because i always do a neutral shade in my crease no matter what color story i'm going with so i do want to swatch a couple of these because quasar is hollering at me yes and supernova so let's see this is quasar which is that kind of oh my god oh wait i gotta do okay let's do eclipse Mars is like gorgeous. We don't even need to swatch that. I got to do the blue. Super cluster. I told y'all. I didn't even swatch these yet. Let me see. I'll pull it back here. If you can just see. Y'all. Quasar. That greenish. Mm, we got to do them down here. Gorgeous. This is Supernova. A little flaky, but love that. This is, ooh, gorgeous matte eclipse. And then this is the blue super cluster. Ma'am, you supposed to be blue. Did I miss the memo? Why does that look green? Wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. That is so shiny too. Okay. I know y'all have probably seen a lot of videos with this but i'm gonna do one too and i'm gonna try to do <laughs> more than one look i always struggle with those because i want to put on lashes and do the whole nine yards just to make sure i do the look justice but i'm not about to do all that and then take it off and then my eyes burn so i'm gonna figure it out but this palette right here i am so excited i also picked up some makeup wipes these are the clinique take the day off micellar cleansing towelettes i actually just finished my bag of MAC ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this for these videos, for this video. I normally just use these to take off swatches when I'm doing haul videos, 
but sometimes if I have on a lot of makeup, I will go in with a makeup removing wipe first and then go in with my cleansing balm and then go in with all my other stuff. So I do use these pretty regularly, more for swatches, but also sometimes to take off my makeup. It is not the only step I use. I use like three or four cleansers because it has worked well for me to be able to keep my skin clear. So I'm just going to stick with it. This I think was an accident, but I'm not really mad that I have it. I picked up the Uoma Beauty Smooth Trip and Smooth powder. I got the shade Honey. So I have the translucent one. It's upstairs. I use it pretty regularly, but I feel like if I use that with a concealer that does not have a lot of coverage, it almost kind of gives me a white cast and I don't love it, but I love how smoothing the powder is. So I picked up this one. I feel like when I saw the name of it though, I, I guess I thought it was something else. And then when it came in, I just didn't realize that I picked the same thing. So this is more in that honey shade versus, that looks really yellow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is super yellow. Um, I normally don't like these shades. See, that's still giving a little bit of brightness though. So this will be okay. That is kind of what I was hoping for with the other one, but the other one was just way too light. That is so soft. Okay, I can get behind this yellow. If it's a powder with coverage, I can't do it if it's yellow. I just don't like that look for me. I know a lot of people do, especially women of color, but I just don't feel like it looks good for my skin, my undertone, and how I like my makeup to look. Just because other people do stuff does not mean you have to do it. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. I hope y'all got a snack because I still got quite a few things on my desk. So comment below. Let me know if you're still with me. Who's sticking with me to the end? We got some good stuff. All right. Up next, I'm going to put these together if I can find them all because I just talked about this and it was on my mind. So there you go. Lily Lashes Power Liner. These were on sale. They're $20. They were on sale for $10. So I got three of the blacks and one of the clear. I do have the Kiss ones also, but I feel like those don't stick as well as these. I don't know what is in this, but I feel like it's magic. And I wanted to get a clear one just in case I decide to try to do lashes on a throw some bronzer in my crease look with some mascara and then lashes. So I want to try the clear one in case I don't want to have a eyeliner on. But yeah, love this. And when I saw it was on sale, yes, I need to have it. This is a need. The Ardell lashes were buy one, get one half off so and on sale. So you got the sale price and then half off the sale price. So I did pick up two of those. And then I also picked up another one of the Lily Lashes Click Magnetic Felt Tip Eyeliner. I used this on another pair of magnetic lashes. I have this sitting right here as well. This is a backup. This is going to change my eyelash game. If you have trouble applying lashes, please try these. You will not regret it. Lily Lashes Power Liner. You heard it here. I also picked up some brushes. So I picked up, this is the second one of these I have. I love this makeup brush. This is the NYX number 37. This is just their pro foundation brush. Jackie Ina used to talk about this brush all the time and that's why I got it. Absolutely loved it. It was on sale, so I picked up another one. I also picked up the It Cosmetics Airbrush Dual Ended Flawless Complexion Brush. I love traveling with dual ended brushes because it makes it, takes up a lot less space in my makeup bag. So this one is for foundation and concealer. I do also have an e.l.f. brush that does the exact same thing. So I think I just wanted to compare how this one works compared to the elf one because the elf one is a lot cheaper even though I got this one on sale so this has a flat top kind of kabuki style brush here for the concealer and then just a round foundation brush at the top so it brushes are really more of a high-end brush and they work really well so on sale this is going in my travel bag Another brush, I pick up the Ulta Bronzer Brush. This is the number 21. I don't think I have intentionally bought any Ulta brushes. If I have some, they may have come in a kit or something like that, but I don't remember buying one. I 
do not have a lot of big fluffy bronzer brushes and I finally pulled one out and started using it and I was like ooh I really like how this applies my bronzer on my forehead and when I'm doing not so much of a sculpted look so I decided to try this one so this is what it looks like right here the packaging's not bad but I think I thought this was gonna be a little fluffier. This kind of looks more like a powder brush, but I could definitely use it for bronzer. So just wanted to add that to the collection because like right now, this is what I'm using. This is a Sephora brush. It says this one's for powder, but I use it because of the shape for my contour and my bronzer. So this, when I want to just blend everything out, this is more of the brush I would use. Another L'Oreal product that I got for free. This, I have no idea what this is. Okay, I'm not joking. I really had to go look it up. <laughs> this is a straw. <laughs> Y'all would have never gotten that. Okay. Well, what's in the middle? There's something in here that makes it not look like a straw. There is something, and you probably ain't gonna be able to see it on the screen, but there's this, yeah, you can. This tiny, whatever that little thing is, I don't understand how that's a straw, but this apparently you put your lips on. All right, another hair product. This is the Kristen S. Weightless Shine Leave-In Conditioner. I tend to buy high-end products for my hair, mostly because I feel like I think that they're gonna work the best. But this brand is not that expensive, but I feel like the packaging and the description gives it more of a luxe feel. This ha is for detangling, softening, strengthening, moisture sealing, and shine enhancing. My biggest issue with my hair lately has been, I feel like it's not shiny enough and I don't wanna put anything in it that's gonna weigh it down because I have fine hair. So that is why I picked this up. It says right out the shower, towel dry. Immediately while hair is still completely wet, apply five to 10 sprays all over your hair. It is weightless when applied to freshly washed hair, so don't be afraid. Avoid spraying this on partially air dried or blow dried hair for best results. Never seen that before. Most products, you can use it dry or wet. This says do not use dry. So glad that I read the directions, but I will be using this when I wash my hair tonight. I also picked up the Kenra Platinum Pearl Detangler. This is a lightweight conditioning milk, but it is supposed to, again, give you more shine. So y'all know the minute I determine I have a problem with something, I need to try all the products that are gonna fix it. I'm not sure why this is in here because I know I did not get it from Ulta because you can only get it from Sephora, but I picked up, did I use this? Maybe this was in another haul, but it's sitting right here in this box. I don't know, I'ma just talk about it. This is the Rare Beauty Brow Harmony Crayon and Gel. This is in the color Cool Brown. I have one of these already. I don't think I have Cool Brown though. So that's still gonna be a little dark, but I actually like this and I use it as another travel item because it is a two for one. It does have the brow gel, which I love. I didn't put anything in my brows today, so go ahead and touch that up. Um, it has the brow gel and it has the pencil in it, so I do think that it is perfect for on-the-go, two-in-one. Next, I picked up a Morphe lip liner. This was on sale, and I feel like these are new. This is their Soulmate Filling Gel Lip Liner. I don't know what makes it filling, but we're gonna see this is a brown and it's called other half if i didn't say that already but y'all know me brown lip liner every single day always line my lips always wear mascara had to see what this was about that looks more burgundy than it does brown definitely looks more burgundy that is not what i was expecting Okay, but we can make it work. We can make it work, so I'm gonna keep that. But it will be definitely more for a makeup look than just an everyday throw in my purse because that is gonna give a lot more color than I normally wear day to day. Down to the last five. I know y'all tired, but that's okay. Stay with me, we almost done. I finally got my hands on these L'Oreal blushes. So I picked up two shades. I picked up Rosewood and then I picked up Confident Pink. 
Now I will say that rosewood ended up being a lot darker than I expected it to be. I swatched these when I got them because I was gonna take it back if I didn't like it, but I like this. I feel like this is another one of those bronzy, these feel so smooth, bronzy terracotta wear everyday shades for me. I don't know if you can even see that, but it could easily go on top of what I have on right now. And I just think it's so pretty. It's almost kind of like a bronzer, but a lot more red. And then this pink one was my attempt to try this pink kick that everybody is on without buying Dior because I'm not doing it. So that is what she looks like right there. Super, super pink. I also picked up the one from Juvia's Place, so I have more than enough of what I need in my collection without needing to try Dior. You can't talk me into it. If somebody wants to send it to me, I'll try it, but I'm not buying it. Last but not least, one hair product and then two liners. I got this brush. This is the Epic Professional Quick Dry Wet Pro Brush. I always like using wet brushes when I de detangle my hair, but also when I brush my hair every day. So I have one similar to this here that I like to use for my wigs. This says it's the Olivia Garden Finger Brush. So it has the bristles that are kind of soft so it doesn't tug your hair as much. This one's actually softer. but. I had not seen this from wet brush before so that's why I picked it up plus I like the color I think it's gonna go this is actually gonna be gorgeous my new color scheme for the house is gonna be like champagne brown neutral a little bit of gray in there so I don't know I'm just on this kick of that very aesthetic neutral that everybody has going on minus the black and not as much gray that's what I want Last but not least, I got two liners. I don't know if you guys can tell today, but I have white liner, not completely white, but a light colored liner in my waterline. I've just been seeing that people are doing that again and I love how it looks. And then I went in my collection and I think I had one, but it was super old and I'm always anxious about stuff like that for my eyes. I'm not gonna be able to open this, hold on. So these are both from the brand LA Girl. This first one is the Shockwave Metallic. I don't think I realized either one of these were metallic. Um, this is in Snowflake. I did not realize these were metallic. That is going to be interesting. I bought the, if you didn't see my, which haul was it? My um, cosmetics company store line, um, cosmetics company store haul. I bought a Too Faced liner and it was a white one called Cashmere, I believe. And so I wanted to have a couple drugstore options, but I didn't realize these were metallic. This one is in the shade Lullaby. So not as white, more of like a champagne gold, but also metallic. So I'm gonna see how these look. I'm not opposed to it because I do like to have a shimmer on my bottom lash line. I'm just not sure how it's gonna look in the waterline, but I will try it on video for you guys to find out. I forgot. <laughs> I wanna include some stuff from Amazon. I shopped Prime Day, I'm proud of myself. I had so much stuff in my cart and I told myself to stop being ridiculous. A sale will get me every single time. If they say something is on sale and it has great reviews and people are suggesting it, I will lose my mind. So I try to mainly buy stuff for the house. Some of it I'm gonna insert pictures because it's already packed. Like literally bought it, stuck it in a box. First, I wanted to pack this, but I wanted to show it. I decided to get one of those little brooms that come with the little combs to dust, like to pull hair out and stuff. So pick this up. My other broom is a regular broom, but I've used it for in the garage and outside. And I want one for upstairs because my beauty room will be on carpet again. And having that hair bothers me. Like I know it's in the floor, most of the time I vacuum, but sometimes when I see stuff, I just want to be able to sweep it up real quick and this will get the hair out of the broom bristles. So decided to pick this up. Next item is this two tiered shelf. I did not realize when I ordered it that there were two of these in the kit. So I bought two orders. So now I have four, but I plan on using these under the sink 
in either the master bathrooms or in a guest bathroom or downstairs. I don't know, but it's going under a cabinet somewhere. I have right now just those plastic, I don't know what to call them. You can get them from Walmart. Just those white plastic pull-out drawers, the stackable ones. That's what I use, but I think I have a little less space in the new house because I actually have more cabinet doors. So I have three versus right now I only have two. So I don't know how that's gonna work out, but I ended up buying a total of four because it comes two in a set. Also for the house, I'm not gonna take this out because you have to put it together, but I'm gonna insert a picture. I bought these in the shade, I forgot, I think it's called Espresso. It is a very, very light tan and then a dark brown trim. I'm gonna insert the picture right here, but these are basically storage boxes to put in your closet. I bought these to use for my sheets. I'm gonna have a guest bedroom, two guest bedrooms. I don't mind washing sheets, but I hate folding and storing them because I always think it looks really messy. So I bought these to put the sheets in and close and they will stay fresher. They're not gonna have dust and stuff on top of them. You can store other stuff in there too. I think I got, how many come in here? Cause I got two packs, but I bought two sets. So I'm gonna use for sheets and probably gonna use it for something else. This was a Prime Day purchase. This is the Color Wild Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. I have a bottle of this upstairs that I'm halfway done with. So I went ahead and picked this up during the sale. This is great if humidity wreaks havoc on your hair. This literally makes water like beat up and repel off your hair like Rain-X on a windshield. So if you have issues with your hair being super frizzy or you get a blowout and it's not sleek and shiny enough the minute you go outside, living in the South with this humidity, I feel like that product is a must. Next product I picked up was a one-off. So I don't buy a lot of jewelry from Amazon, but I see a lot of people do. And I guess they mainly wear it just for like doing videos or like, you know, quick little not wanting to wear expensive stuff all the time. But these are the, it's called a, make sure I get this right, Moissanite, Moissanite. This is a lab created diamond, 18 karat white gold plated sterling silver, blah, blah, blah. It's basically some studs. And I bought these because right now I wear studs all the time. Like you will rarely see me without my earrings on. If I may not have earrings in the front, but I will always have these back ones on. One time I lost one of them and I was super upset because these are expensive, but I didn't have a backup pair. And I kept buying all these little cheap ones that would get cloudy and turn brown after like one time I forgot to take them out the shower. So I decided just to get these to have a nice backup pair if something ever happens to these. They also had really good reviews. It has 686 reviews and it's four and a half stars. So I got the one carat, is that what I got? Yeah, one carat total weight. So it's a half carat each. Oh, they did have a one carat two carat total weight, so one carat each. I believe these are one, pretty sure, but whatever, it'll be good. They only pay $20 for them. They're regular 80 and they were on sale for 20 for Prime Day, so yeah, put them in the cart, great backup option. And then last but not least, I got another palette. I finally picked this up. I've heard people talk about this on YouTube, but I've never tried it. This is from What's Up Beauty, and this is their Geodes palette. This was $40 and it was on sale for 20% off. So I'm glad I waited because part of me was like, this is Amazon makeup. Like, is it Amazon makeup? I don't even know, but I hadn't heard of the brand. So I wasn't sure if I felt like it was worth $40. I opened this and I immediately regretted not getting the other one. The other one had a blue in it, but I just feel like this color story was the one that I was gonna get the most wear out of. But look at how pretty this is. Definitely could get my everyday with these two shades right here, but I got a swatch. Earth-like, of course, because it's that purple blue, kind of looks like a topper shade. Crystal, also a purple. Ooh, she's flaky. Push that back in the pan. Let me swatch one of these. I'm gonna swatch the Dark Matte Terra, and then, ooh, Clay, which is the green. Ooh. 
Y'all know I love me some olive green. So those are those four shades right there, but y'all can see how, oh no, I didn't wipe this off. Can we see if I put that up there? Okay, we're gonna put these right here. So that is Earth-like. So you can see that gorgeous blue to red kind of flip. This next one is Crystal and she is, oh, that is so pretty. Very sparkly purple kind of pink shade. Then we have the dark Terra. Gorgeous, gorgeous, creamy matte. And then we have clay. We'll put that one right there. So that looks almost grayish. Cool tone, kind of greenish gray. So I don't know. I just felt like this was the time to try this because it was on sale. I'm gonna try it on my eyes before I buy the other one because if I don't like the formula, then there's no point in having two. I also felt like this color story was the one that spoke to me the most, so that's why I grabbed it. But comment and let me know if you've tried this brand before because I have not and I would love to hear your thoughts about it. All right, guys, well, that was it for this video. I know it's a long one, but y'all love my hauls, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Comment below and let me know what you wanna see first. Let me know if you have any of these products. I love hearing from you. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family. We have a lot of fun on this channel, so hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.